we had a really good summer and we actually had a really good spring season um, last last year. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to, to get into the state playoffs. We finished nine and three on the year. Um, but uh, I do believe, you know, in a normal year, that was probably a year that we, we might have been able to get into the state tournament and, and maybe make some noise. Um, so, yeah, there was some momentum going into the summer, into the into summer ball. Um, we, we went to four different camps and were, you know, able again to play some quality competition at those camps. So, yeah, we did. We, we felt like coming into this year, uh, we'd be positioned well to uh, hopefully make a run. You mentioned the postseason. Taos hasn't played in a state final since 1998. Is that something you talk about with the team? Uh, we have talked about that before. You know, it's not something that we try and ignore. And, and obviously, um, we like to, uh, to, I don't know, I guess you might say honor or, uh, or um, appreciate those great Taos teams of the past, you know. And so... Um, yeah, we're, we're looking to make our own mark on, on Taos basketball history for sure. Um, but we also, uh, recognize and understand, uh, the deep tradition of some of those past Tiger teams. How do you feel like you stack up against some of the other teams in class 4A as you're entering now district play and the postseason will be here before you know it? I mean, how do you think, uh, you size up against the likes of Highland and some of those other teams? Yes, no. So class 4A is is loaded this year, really. You know, myself and, and my assistant coaches have been talking and it's like, really, you, you know, someone could win that that state tournament from anywhere in the bracket. And, you know, it starts with our district teams. You know, there's uh, a passionate fan base, you know, in, in northern New Mexico. And and so whether it be Española or Los Alamos, Boac and Moriarty, we know that we're going to be in, an, in for a dogfight each and every night. And then, yeah, taking a look at, uh, you know, throughout the state, obviously um, Highland is a very strong team. Uh, they're a team that was in the state finals, I think, just a couple of years ago. Um, they're playing really good basketball now. Uh, you know, you have teams like Del Norte now with with uh, with uh, Shane Domo Sanchez coming back now. You defending state champs, you imagine that they're going to be in the mix of everything. Uh, we had a chance to play St. Pius, Hope Christian, Artesia over at Hope, and we know that they're all really good teams. Uh, played Belen up at the Stu Clark tournament. Um, they're definitely a, a big, strong, tough team. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing probably one or two others because there's so many of them out there. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like, you know, with all of those teams, we 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 come out and, and we really uh, buy into the defensive, defensive end of the floor. Um, we have an opportunity to be in all of those games.